There's a man in here who walked on his hands for 870 miles. You mean on his hands and knees? Like a baby? No, just on his hands, with his feet in the air, said Ms. Aruba Tate. No way! Read the book, you'll see. Ms. Aruba Tate returned to her chair. Bean opened the shiny cover. On the very first page, there was a picture of a woman whose black hair trailed behind her like a fancy cape. Bean read that the hair was 19 feet long and that the woman had been growing it since she was 12. Wow, thought Bean. Doesn't it get dirt and bugs in it? Bean turned the page. Ew, a man was eating a scorpion. Double ew. He ate 30 scorpions a day. On the next page was a picture of a boy with 256 straws in his mouth. What did his mouth look like when there were no straws in it? Big and slobbery, Bean guessed. Ivy, she whispered. Ivy! Ivy's eyes stopped binging back and forth. What? Check this out. Carpet vipers, hula hoops, and two million teeth. He stuck 159 clothespins on his face, shouted Eric. Look at him. It was recess, but instead of soccer or jump rope or monkey bars, the second graders were huddled under the play structure. At the center of the circle were Bean and her book. Kids pulled the book back and forth, all trying to look at the pages at the same time. Look at her! Ninety-nine hula hoops at once! Vanessa squeaked. Around her neck, too! Look at this turnip! It weighs thirty-nine pounds, said Doozit. Gross. I hate turnips, Eric said. My mom made me eat one once, and I spit it into the heater. I hate lima beans, said Doozit. Bean pulled the book back in her direction. After all, Ms. Aruba Tate had brought it especially for her. This guy has had more broken bones than any living human, read Bean. In the picture, he was smiling happily. He's broken his leg 14 times. On purpose? asked Emma. I guess so, said Bean. He jumps off of buildings. Drew slid the book his way. Hey, this guy collects teeth. He has two million teeth. This is the world's most poisonous snake, read Leo, pointing to another picture. It's called the carpet viper. Does it live in carpets? asked Zuzu. She looked worried. In India and Africa, said Leo. Not here. Bean slid the book back her way. Look, Zuzu. This girl did a hundred and nine cartwheels in a row. Let me see that. Zuzu grabbed the book and looked closely at the picture of a teenage girl in tights. I bet I could do a hundred and ten. Bet you couldn't, said Eric. He grabbed the book from Zuzu and flipped through the pages. This dude, he ate four hundred M&Ms in one minute, it says. That's nothing. I bet I could eat a thousand in one minute if I didn't chew. You choke, warned Leo. No, I've had lots of practice, said Eric. Look, said Bean, reaching over Eric's shoulder and flipping pages. Look at this kid. He's only a kid, and he made a world record for hanging spoons on his face. Fifteen. No glue, either. How do they stick? asked Ivy, looking up from her book. I can't tell, Bean said. Sweat, maybe. Why would anyone hang spoons on the- Hello. 
Today, I'm going to show you how to get this audiobook for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll guide you step by step. It's really simple and fast. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to listen to your audiobook for free. So let's get started. Here are the steps you need to follow. Click on the link below the video to access the audiobook page. I want to emphasize that the method I'm showing you works with any book from the Amazon audiobook catalog offered by Audible. Make sure the option Free with Trial is displayed on the page. Then, click on the Try Audible button. You will be redirected to the Amazon website. If you already have an Amazon account, log in. Otherwise, you can easily create an account. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, Here's how to create one. Click on the Create Your Amazon Account button at the bottom of the page. Fill in the fields of the form with your first name, last name, mobile phone number or email address, and password. Then click Continue to validate. You will receive a verification code at the email address you provided. Log in to that email account, copy the verification code, and paste it into the box requested by Amazon. Next, enter your phone number to receive a verification code via SMS. Insert this code into the box presented by Amazon and click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, Amazon will ask you to enter your credit card number. Don't worry, it won't be charged because it's the free trial period. If you decide to continue your subscription, you will be charged $14.95 per month after the free trial period. Click on Add Your Card. After adding your credit card, you will be redirected to this page asking for your personal information, such as first name, address, email, etc. Then click the Use This Address button. Once you have entered all the information requested by Amazon, you will finally arrive at this page. You will see that the book you have chosen is displayed, and all you have to do now is confirm it to listen to your audiobook. As you can see, the amount to be paid is $0. This first audiobook is completely free. Now click on the Try for Free button. Now your Audible account is created and you have access to your free audiobook. You can listen to the audiobook you chose directly on this Amazon page or on the Audible website. The most recent had been two years previously. I'd actually survived six months. I want to remind you once again that the method I've shown you here works with any book from the Amazon catalog audiobooks offered by Audible. Now, all you need to do is go to the Audible website, use your Amazon information to log in to your Audible account, email address and password, and once you're logged in, click on the library menu. There you will find your free book, and all you have to do is click listen now to start listening. I'm not ashamed to admit that I cried like a baby. You also have the option to download the Audible app which will make it easier and faster to listen to the audiobooks in your library. From this point on, you have two choices. The first choice is to keep your Audible subscription and agree to be charged $14.95 per month. This will give you a monthly credit that you can use to listen to or download any audiobook of your choice, regardless of its price. If you want to enjoy one audiobook per month regardless of its price, simply make use of your subscription. The second choice is to cancel your Audible account before the end of the 30-day period. This way, you won't be charged $14.95, and you can keep access to your free audiobook indefinitely. To cancel your account, go to your Audible account, hover over the menu where your first name is displayed, and click on the Account Details link. On the page that appears, click on the Cancel Membership link. Scroll down the page, then click on Continue to Cancel on the next page. Audible will ask you for the reason for your departure. You can provide the reason of your choice, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Continue Canceling button. In this step, Audible will make a final attempt to keep you as a customer by offering you several deals that are truly interesting for audiobook enthusiasts. You can choose one of these offers if you wish to continue the adventure with Audible. Otherwise, click on Confirm Cancellation. There you go. Your Audible subscription is canceled, 
and you still have your free audiobook in your library without paying anything. Your credit card has not been charged. Take a look. Together, we will verify if the offered book is still available after canceling the subscription. To do this, click on the Library menu. I confirm that the book is still here, available in your account. You can listen to it whenever you want by clicking the Listen Now button and listen to it as many times as you wish. I was crying because I knew that I was condemned to be a smoker for life. Now, if you want to enjoy a free book and listen to it at any time, click on the link below this video and follow the steps I just described. Thanks to this, you can listen to your book for free anytime and as many times as you want in your Audible account.